Example 1.7 An electron falls through a distance of 1.5 cm in a uniform electric field of magnitude 2 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per coulomb. The direction of the electric field is reverse, keeping its magnitude unchanged and a proton falls through the same distance. Compute the time of fall in each case. Contrast the situation with that of the free fall under the gravity. So what is given here? See, we have a setup in which electric field exists uh, in the downward, uh, in the upward direction. Okay, an electron is allowed to fall. Now what will happen? The electron will accelerate in the opposite direction of the electric field. So electron will start moving downward. But if we reverse the electric field, right? So let us assume the electric field li is like this. Okay, and if I allow a proton in this electron electric field to fall. So what will happen? The proton will experience force in the downward direction. So we have to find the time or we have to compare the time of free fall of electron and proton in presence of this external field. So for a charge in uniform electric field, we know that the force acting is given by equation QE and from Newton's second law F is equals to MA. So the acceleration produced uh, on a charge due to the external field is given by equation QE by M. So for electron, the acceleration produced is instead of Q, we will put charge of electron and instead of mass, we will put mass of electron and electric field is given 2 into 10 raised to 4. On calculating this or on solving this, we will get 3.5 into 10 raised to 15 meter per second square means the electron will accelerate which this acceleration and this acceleration will be uniform. Okay. Now due to this acceleration, the electron will take some time to reach this plate the another plate and how much time that we have to find now we know that for uniformly accelerated motion we have that three equations of motion so the uh, uh, equation which relate distance or displacement and time is the second equation of motion y is equals to ut plus half a t square okay so here it is free fall under electric field so u is zero so y is equals to half a t square so we can make t as a subject so here we can make t as a subject so t square so here if we make t as a subject here 2h by a so 2h by a and square root so under root 2h by a so 2 the distance between the plate is given 1.5 centimeter so which is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 and the acceleration of the electron we have obtained is 3.5 into 10 raised to 15 so on solving this or we can use this also 0 0.35 into 10 raised to 16 on solving we will get 2.9 into 10 raised to minus 9 second that is the electron will take 2.9 nanosecond to travel 1.5 centimeter now for proton okay so again we can do the same uh, we can use the same equation a is equals to qe by m but here we will use charge of proton and mass of proton so again putting all the data we will get acceleration of the proton as 1.9 into 10 raised to 12 meter per second square so the proton will take time how much time the proton will take so we can use the same equation again here okay so it is uh, 2h by ap so 2h is the distance uh, a proton has to travel and ap is the acceleration of the proton that we have calculated here so that acceleration we will put here that is the proton will take 1.256 that is 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 7 second okay so here you can see the uh, proton will take more time because 10 raised to minus 7 is larger compared to 10 raised to minus 9 so proton will fall slowly whereas the electron will fall with a very large speed okay so or the acceleration of the proton is less compared to the acceleration of electron right for example you have two object right one is lighter and one is very heavy if you apply same force then what will happen the lighter will accelerate more and the heavy will accelerate less so same thing is happening here okay so if you uh, compare this to the time taken by proton is 10 raised to minus 7 and the time taken by electron to cover the same distance is 10 raised to minus 9 so nearly time taken by uh, proton is 100 times than the time taken by electron to cover the same distance 10 raised to minus 7 is greater than 10 raised to minus 9 so the heavier particle that is proton takes greater time to fall through the same distance this is basic contrast to the situation of the free fall because in free fall that is the motion under gravity uh, the g does not depend that is the acceleration due to gravity is independent of the mass of the falling object that is if this is earth if you allow electron or proton or a man or anything they will get accelerate with a 9.8 meter per second square that is it is independent of the mass of the body 
so here the acceleration of the electron is very very larger than the acceleration due to gravity acceleration of proton is also very very larger than the acceleration due to gravity and the acceleration of electron is very large compared to the acceleration of proton